Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from my office tonight and I just want to share with you about layers in recovery. And this is really based off of my own experience with recovering from chronic fatigue syndrome. And so everybody's journey is going to be a little bit different. But you know, I found that it's kind of recovering from CFS is kind of like peeling an onion. It has layers. And um, basically as I pulled off one layer, I didn't realize, oh, there's another layer I need to deal with. And I thought that was going to be the end of my recovery and oh here's another layer that I need to deal with but I guess the beautiful thing in this is that um, rather than each layer just being tossed aside once I've worked through it I basically would throw it into a you know a pot simmering on the stove and, and just and creating a life that I love with each of these layers so um, they've been challenging and yet it's been a hugely beneficial journey for my whole life um, so so just to get started let's start with physical a lot of these things in the physical realm I learned from CFS health program and also from the Optimum Health Clinic physical was the first layer of the onion that I needed to deal with because I was bed bound housebound you know just miserable and just feeling like my life had been stolen um, physically things were very challenging for me I was hit with Epstein-Barr virus and uh, just basically never recovered from that and uh, did the push and crash cycle for four years and so that was the first one of the first issues I had to deal with was stopping that push and crash cycle that I was in another thing under physical was getting my sleep right you know sleep is so critical and a lot of times with CFS we get our sleep mixed up where you know we're mostly crashed out during the day and then we're wired in the middle of the night so I had a lot of hours during the night that I was up not out of bed but trying to get back to sleep I can do another video on each one of these things because they really deserve that but I just want to kind of give an overview about it right now so getting the sleep right you know meditating to calm down the system during the day so in the evening I could sleep alternate nostril breathing other things that I employed um, some herbal remedies Gaia herbal sleep through things like that that would help get my sleep right another thing that was really important in the physical realm was getting the right blood tests you know most GPs sad to say are useless when it comes to CFS because they're not aware of what's uh, going on with the illness and so with the Optimum Health Clinic I was able to get some good direction on blood tests that I could get my GP to do and then actually um, they would interpret it differently than the GP did because they were looking more for balance in a lot of different systems so even though the GP might have thought oh your level in DHEA is okay uh, like for instance a naturopath I also worked with was like no I, I want your levels much higher than like the lowest bar and so uh, basically working with uh, people that were knowledgeable of CFS that were able to direct me in things like you know for me specifically it's going to be different for everyone but adrenal function uh, mitochondria dysfunction is very prevalent with CFS um, getting the right targeted supplements and using them in the right way was really critical in order to uh, you know support my body in the things that were going amiss another thing in the realm of the physical was getting a baseline down now a baseline is a level of activity that you can sustain without crashing and you want to look at a daily baseline a weekly baseline and a monthly baseline so for me when I first started CF Health S health program and started working with baseline you know I, cu I couldn't get out of the house even once a week I mean it was like once every three weeks and what I would do then because I was dressed and ready to go I would go out for several hours and then I would end up just you know trying to do all the errands and do all the stuff I hadn't been able to do and so then I would crash so basically it was learning to work within a baseline and also creating structure routine and very gentle restorative movement as you may know exercise can crash someone 
terribly with CFS. And so it was really important that I started very slow and I worked incrementally to increase my endurance and my resilience. Uh, as you might know from my story, I started with a three minute walk in 2014 and it took me the entire year to work up to a 10 minute walk. And what that meant was where I could fit it into a daily baseline where it didn't make me crash. And frankly, there wasn't a lot else I was doing other than that daily walk. So, uh, but what I also began to do in other areas of my life once I built up some endurance and resilience was I began to uh, extend. So remember I would go out and spend those three hours and crash if I went out once every few weeks. Well, then I began to try to get out once a week, maybe for half an hour. Then it was an hour, then it was two hours and so on until, you know, one day I was out for six hours and I was like, wow, I am out and I uh, it was great and so it just builds from there you know but you have to start you don't go from zero to hero you start and you just continue to progress and you know structure was really important as well with uh, the physical is creating a structure to my day because like I said before the sleep issue where you're sleeping all day and then you're up at night creating some structure so I could drag myself out of bed earlier in the day set scheduled rest times so I knew when I could get back in bed. Um, and that really helped me in the physical area as well. So basically that is the first layer of my CFS recovery. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and break this into different videos because it's a lot of uh, information for each one. It'll go very long otherwise. And so um, basically that's it. I just wanna share the other three layers that have been there for me are the, um, is the boundaries, emotional work, and brain retraining. And again, none of those indicate that CFS is an emotional or a mental illness. It is absolutely a physical debilitating neurological illness classified by World Health Org. And, um, so, but basically these are the other layers that I found that have really um, helped my recovery and been, been just an integral part of it. So next time I'll do a video on the boundaries and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you then. So take care and remember, life's not over, it's starting again.